Well, I'm in Lowe's. Uh, got to get a power cable. I read somewhere that there's more solar energy in Texas than there is in the country of Germany. Germany, which is not a small nor a poor country, probably as rich as the United States. Uh, uh, not quite, but per capita, I'm sure it is. In any case, uh, I need to, excuse me, how's it going? I need to get this, uh, get a power cable here. Uh, I had a power cable to run from my generator to the three-prong plug for my, uh, for the connection to my charger. But, one of the prongs broke off, so now, I am simply in the position of looking for it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to, I need about a 10 to, 10 to 15 foot cable to go around my uh, extended van to the plug, which is right behind the driver's side, uh, in the side of the van to uh, charge up my, uh, not charge up my batteries through my, uh, through my charger that's in behind my driver's side seat. Hmm. All right, let's see if I can find it. In the hotel again, and you can see my van out there. Uh, you can see, you see the top of it. You've probably seen that a couple of times. That's 550 watts of, uh, of solar up there. Uh, but I did put a lot of gap between the the uh, the two panels in front and the two panels in back. And I'm going to, I got another 50 watt panel and I've got to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm thinking I might be able to place it there. Oh, of course, this is killing the autofocus here. Place it there, even maybe even on top of the, of the fan. It's a very, very small panel and very light. It wouldn't stress the fan. Or oh, what I could do is, uh, you know, I'm gonna get that, when it was two into one, what's it, RC4, whatever the heck those, those uh, solar connectors are, or RC something or another. And I'm going to get it. And I could, for instance, uh, sort of, uh, uh, I guess, sort of uh, place that inside the van so I could have that 50 watt panel inside and then take it out. For instance, when I get out in the mornings uh, on a day where I think it would be helpful, I can put that other 50 watt panel there and that'll be charging my auxiliary because I, I need at least a 100 watts going as an auxiliary battery 50 watts works but it doesn't charge uh, fast enough at all uh the beginning of this video and i'm going to tack it on here because this is a sort of a hodgepodge video i was at lowe's i bought a 15 foot uh power cable so i can down here on this side of the van there's a plug in the side i guess i could put a uh, RV adapter on there, but it's a it's a 120 115 a standard voltage uh, Input there and I can take that 15 foot and then place my generator which is in the back of the van and I can uh, charge up my My battery when there's no solar there has been like 16 days uh, With virtually no solar and so I, I, I looked up there today because I let it get away, get away from me and I had eight volts coming through there. That was stupid low. I've been stupid low before, but it's been a long time. So what I've been doing is just sort of rotating my Suoki, uh, uh, generators, I call them generators, but they're basically a battery. And I've been charging them off of the hotel current since I, I'm going to be here until tomorrow at checkout time, probably noon. Then before I get back out in the world. But, uh, you know, it, when I saw it was 8 volts, there was no doubt I was going to take this, this day off because I needed to get this thing charged. And I did not need to burden it with any, any effort. I unplugged the, I unplugged the refrigerator, refrigerators, and everything. So, and switched off power to the back of the van so I could give it time to recover from this, uh, this big outage I've had. Now, coming over here, uh, this is, a. Uh, this is one of the Suyoki. This is my old one. You've seen it a hundred times. It's the uh, 400 watt hour. It's almost full when this thing goes solid all the way up to the top. It'll be full. I currently have my new one I bought, the 500 watt hour 
charging, still charging out there on the van uh, to get it back up. It's back up almost 12 volts. And I got it pretty close to 12 volts with just this, so I'm putting it over the top with the other one. Which, uh, if it fills up while I'm still awake, I'm going to I'm going to go pull it up and charge it. Uh, I'm thinking it's probably going to be going all night, 500 watt hours. I don't know, six, seven hours maybe to charge that thing up. Maybe less, so I could be way wrong because I've never, I haven't used that particular Suoki. But if it's like this. It's going to take five or so hours to drain it down. And I drain this down pretty frequently and it still keeps coming back. So it seems to be doing all right. In any case, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to get this thing back up and going. I eliminated a lot of crap out of the van. Uh, I didn't have anything place to put clothes. There's too much stuff in there. So I got rid of a lot of stuff. And when you're in the van, square footage is a cube footage because when you remove something that covers floor space you're also cover covering vertical space and that's vertical space makes it livable floor space makes it navigable all right i'll talk to you uh, later and i will get back and uh, work on this until tomorrow and then we'll see what happens then